Hello friends, welcome back. Do you remember in the last tutorial we have worked on card page? So just for sign in with my email address and just log in. After login, we are in our profile page. Hi, Rizwan Khan. So just go to the card page, card.php. So we are in this page. Uh, do you remember in the last tutorial? Uh, we have worked on this uh, quantity and product price calculation uh, whatever the quantity we have gave uh, suppose 4 so this quantity is multiplied with this single price 1200 and gives result in this price in dollar field so now I'm going to work on this uh, these two buttons this button is for delete the product and this button is for update the quantity when I give pipe and when I click on this button it update our quantity in uh, our database so for this just go to the database so we have Khan store and within Khan store I have card table so these are the tables I'm going to use this product underscore ID and user underscore ID for different different users suppose there are two users uh, um, for the two users there are two different IDs so I'm going to use this for a single user it selects that ID just come to the main.js page and this is alert just remove this alert and give code.hx URL is action dot php method post and data and it's success transfer function with an argument data so give data uh, remove remove from cart the value one and remove id with the uh, value id and it means this one save this and come to the page action.php in the last tutorial we have done this get cart product and cart checkout after this I'm going to create a new function for update and remove just come to the main.js page and copy this remove from cart and come to the action page and paste it here dollar underscore post again come to the page main.js and copy this remove id come to the action page paste it here and switch semicolon and store it in pid equals to so dollar user id equals to dollar underscore session user id in not, not user id it's uid and uh, we can see here problem system uid so come to here dollar sql equals to sel select all not select I'm going to delete delete from card where we have p underscore id and user underscore id so I'm going to delete the product added by this user which has id 2 so where user 
and there is core ID equals to dollar UID and P this ID means product ID dollar PID close this and let's see again with for confirmation okay now everything is fine dollar run query equals to mysqli underscore query dollar connection comma dollar sql close this and if dollar run query echo removed save this come to the main.js space give an alert with value data for testing after that we will edit it refresh everything is fine just click on this delete it says removed ok refresh so product is gone you can see and I can click delete refresh product is gone so make it more uh, perfect remove this dollar alert and dollar hash come to the cart page and these are this is the container fluid where we have cart in this we have dollar raw just within this container div class equals to raw close this div and in this div div class equals to call md to close this it is null div class equals to call hyphen md hyphen 8 close this also copy this and paste it here take a back line cart message save this and give an id copy this and come to the page main.js paste it here dot html give data save this come to the action page and just move up find where is alert class success just copy this and come here and remove this paste it here so we have this alert with class success I'm going to this danger and with times ampersand time so close just remove product is added to product is this save this and main.js so as I told you make it more perfect where is our card checkout copy this actually I'm I'm not going to refresh each and every time after updation so give here and call this function card checkout so refresh click oh it's cool come to the index.php so it's gone to profile.php oh, okay it's fine not bad so add this mobile add to cart add to cart 
and this sales product is already added into the cart condition shopping actually I forget to add here alert class of bootstrap so you can do it yourself again it says added product added to cart come to the cart page cart.php so we have three products in our cart just delete one more one of them one by one ease superb file.php so i hope you like this video and friends you have any problem any query about this uh, video regarding this whole project uh, you can comment in the comment section and you can share your, your problem with others and me and if i'm able to solve your problem then i will sure try to solve your problem thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe